I'm DJ Static from We Funk Radio. Um, we started the show in Montreal, but I'm currently residing in Vancouver. But yeah, I was passing through Asia, visiting family, and now I'm here in Singapore, thanks to these guys. And uh, yeah, gonna be playing a set tomorrow. Welcome to DJ Static. First time spinning here in Singapore, raising the choice cuts next. We Funk Radio is a college show we've been doing since 96. Um, Focusing on uh, the, the, our, our foundations, uh, funk, soul, original breaks, and hip hop. But over the years, we've really branched out into a lot of other genres, kind of in the same family, though. And we have a lot of, we're lucky to have a lot of guests from around the world that we respect uh, pitch in, and they do mixes, and they kind of expand the boundaries a bit more. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very much a community effort, and uh, yeah, we're like a hub for, for a lot of DJs and music lovers. That's, that's what I do. It's pretty phenomenal, just because when we started, we didn't expect it to take off. It was strictly a labor of love. Like, we, we didn't go into DJing like maybe some people do, like for the, the fame or the hype. And just, uh, we just love music, and it, it paid off. It, it went beyond our, our expectations. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty amazing journey. It's like I have family around the world before I even go a place. Yeah, got, got homies in different places around Asia, so it's a, it's a new, new chapter. It's pretty exciting. I get emails from like Brazil, like in 99. Yeah, it picked up pretty fast. Like early 2000s, definitely that's when things were steadily rolling in. Uh, just all over Europe, the states, different cities in the states, and and just kind of hip hop legends started reaching out and just saying we love the show and that that's that's what really blew my mind because I grew up on these people. Like I was touring in France and then uh, Lord Jazz from Voice on the Ground got picked up by the promoter. He calls his wife. He's like, guess who I'm with? I'm with the guys we listen to at, in the in the kitchen. <laughs> We used to go to buy tapes of Lloyd's Little Underground, but it's it's a it's a full circle, and uh, like different people have reached out. They've, they've put in so much that to make shape the culture. Yeah, they, they appreciate the show, and that, that means the world to me. There's a lot of timing and luck involved with how our progression, and a big part of it is just uh, early start in, in streaming. Yeah, and and really defining our sound for good and bad, especially DJs like move around sound a lot. It's, 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 it's a bit easier to be a DJ than to be an artist. We, we play what we love, that, that's basically what we do. And we're, we're like a couple of music nerds, we have our likes. We, we just play that, it, it, and it, it gets boring for some people because we've been rocking breaks since 96 and underground boom bap stuff since 96. Yeah, that's, that's our formula, like original recipe, like that's our chicken. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it just, just, it's part of our routine. Like me and my partner set aside time to for the show and it, it pretty much runs our lives. Like you know, I'm always doing music. Like I don't work in music actually. I, I work, I have a nine to five, but I, I'm listening to music and checking music like for 40 hours a week leading up to the show. And I record at home at night and uh, my partner does the same thing. What keeps me going is just, yeah, the fact like this, the fact that I'm here because of the radio show, like I don't really need anything else to keep me going. Like it just, it's appreciated to a very large extent. The degree that someone who appreciates the, the show appreciates it, like makes it all worth it. I don't know, the yin and the yang, I, the, I'm gonna give you two, just Kendrick Lamar and Rhapsody. Content, the flow, the, the fire, behind what they do. It's all that, it's a whole package. It's a whole package. The time for it, Canada is long overdue. It's just, it's just, I don't know why it happened now, but the talent's always been there, the culture's been there. It's, it has deep roots. It has very deep roots. Yeah, Canada has a bad rep, right? We, people think just snow and igloo and just, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Parkas and there's no culture, yeah. But it's not true, for the record, for the record. Hip hop R and B is growing, and thanks a lot to Drake, Canada's kind of found a, a voice and a rallying point. Whether it's to do what he does or just 
kind of feel like you have that opportunity, I think, um, to get as high as anyone else. Like, there was a time, I think a lot of people, very talented people came out of Canada and kind of hit a ceiling. Ooh, show 1000 is coming up. We, we, we need to do something big for it. Yeah, what's next? I get back to touring too. My, my partner's been kind of out of commission a bit with uh, his first kid. Kind of, in a way, doing more kind of solo Wee Funk shows and keeping the torch lit. The only thing new that we bring is a new show every week. We don't have a lot of angles, reworking things. We, we, we're very, we're like creatures of routine, but we do what we do very well and consistent. That, that's the other thing. Like, I find the FM aspect of the show keeps us working because uh, a lot of friends, they, they do podcasts, they do just pre-recorded online shows. Like when you get busy, you skip one week, you get busy, you skip another week, and then you lose that continuity and you just, before you know it, the show's done. The fact that we're on FM, like there's no, you can't just not do a show, you're on FM. It locks us into that rhythm and it's kept us going. <laughs> Okay, two guys sharing music. That's with roots in, in funk, soul, and hip hop. Also, I know the older generation are, is very protective of their music, but we kind of took the opposite approach. Like, in terms of covering labels and not disclosing track lists, we've always, yeah, we always wanted, to, one, to give the artists their proper dues because they need to eat too. Like, we're, we're just a messenger. Like, we, we're, we're not gods. We, well, what is We Funk Radio? It's a big community. We're just like the hub. We're just the hub. Like, but uh, it goes way beyond like two guys. How does it work? College radio show. So we, so a lot of students that go to McGill, they they can volunteer there, and um, when a when a slot opens up, they can they can request or apply to do a show. That's what we did, and um, given the time slot. This is an interesting story. We originally got the 4 to 7 a.m. time slot. And um, I would bring my turntables in a single coffin through the snow on my bike because they didn't, I wanted to do a mix show because I grew up on like a proper DJ mix show. And uh, they didn't, I think they, they had turntables, but they're, they're sunken in and it was, wasn't easy to mix. So I, I would do that with my, uh, partner Professor Goof, Nick, um, in the early years. So yeah, every week, like 3.30, wake up, push the coffin on my bike. <laughs> Couple blocks, not far, but Montreal winter is serious too, and, like through the snow and stuff, just so we can mix and kind of do our thing. Back in the day, we'd go to record stores a lot, like, like every other DJ kind of hang out with the record store owners and the clerks, and they would have suggestions like this, that, and I try to support an independent artists as much as I can, like through, through iTunes and Bandcamp and, and pay for the stuff. Um, so I, I do check Bandcamp a lot. I check uh, SoundCloud. I am on Spotify. It's a false dichotomy. We don't need to, algorithm versus hand select. It's, to me, good music is good music. Source it however you can. Blogs that I, I check, I've them all bookmarked, about 50 of them. Um, they come and go like a lot of blogs. I check Mixcloud, like uh, mixes uh, and other radio shows. And ultimately that's what music should be, right? Bring people together, hopefully. I appreciate all you guys. You, um, I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's just an amazing journey. 20 plus years, never would have thought it, it would happen, but here I am now. We're not going anywhere. We're gonna just keep doing what we're doing and just keep riding with us. Shout out. Yeah, shout out. Oh yeah, my partner. Yeah, he is. <laughs> is he <laughs>